Hello. Today's topic is information governance maturity model. And actually, there are many information governance maturity models in existence. They usually have uh, four to seven maturity levels, while the most uh, common being five levels. And the logic behind them are, is quite si similar. For, uh, on lowest level, information governance doesn't exist or uh, it is not being used. And uh, on the highest level, uh, information governance will uh, help organization to transform itself. And uh, we're going to use an example of ARMA information governance maturity model. It has five levels. And the first level is called uh, understandardized. On that level, organization is uh, using the information. It is treating information as a side product of their daily business activities. And uh, no standardization is done or uh, if it's done, it is uh, on ad hoc principle and very limited uh, area. The second maturity level is called in development. And on that level, organization has understood the value of information governance. It has initiated the procedures required to achieve compliance and uh, some level of compliance has achieved actually. But still, uh, no benefits are being received on this level. The costs outweigh the benefits. On th third level is called essential. On that level, organization has achieved uh, necessary uh, compliance uh, with the norms and regulations. Uh, clear benefits are starting to appear, while the costs uh, still outweigh them, unfortunately. And uh, fourth level of maturity is called uh, proactive. And on that level, information governance is uh, integrated into daily business processes. Uh, the issues related to information governance are discussed uh, daily. And uh, very clear business benefits uh, appear, while the costs still outweigh the benefits slightly, it has uh, got, gotten much more better. And uh, for an organization, it is actually quite difficult to uh, achieve the fourth level. The, and uh, in order to get from third level to fourth level, organization usually needs uh, outside help. Because the change in uh, pr processes is uh, quite large. The fifth maturity level is called the uh, transformational. And in, on that level, information governance is fully integrated into an organization. It provides competitive advantage and uh, it allows organization to transform itself uh, preemptively when the business environment changes. The example we just discussed uh, was uh, basically a centralized model. Uh, the top management of organization is uh, necessary in order to uh, implement information governance. There are actually alternatives and one of them is uh, by Oracle and uh, in the T centralized model uh, one of the divisions of a uh, larger organization is uh, starting to implement information governance, then it will spread slightly outwards until uh, top management realizes uh, that uh, the benefits of information governance and decides to implement it uh, organization-wide. I would perceive uh, that uh, this kind of uh, model works uh, in case of uh, extremely uh, decentralized organizations, but the three things that uh, I would like uh, that you would uh, take uh, with you from this lecture are Firstly, information governance will become uh, one of the central aspects of organization as the higher maturity level is achieved. Uh, business benefits appear on higher maturity levels while the costs go up at a ma lower maturity levels. And the uh, third aspect is that uh, Information governance grants organization uh, ability to foresee changes in marketplace and react preemptively. Thank you.